Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing a liquid lipstick collection. I've done a makeup collection in the past, which I'll link down below, but I want to dive deeper into my liquid lipsticks and show you which ones I have in what colors and also let you know my opinions on them because I've tried a lot of different brands, drugstore and high-end, and I wanted to kind of do little reviews on each of them and let you know if I like them or don't like them and kind of why. Every liquid lipstick has a different formula and some are great and some aren't as great. So I just want to show you which ones I've tried and let you know my thoughts on them. So let's start out with the liquid lipstick that I'm wearing today. Um, I'm wearing Smashbox and this is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick and the one I'm wearing today is in Dream Huge. The packaging of the Smashbox one just looks like this. Um, I really like the packaging of this one and I also like the applicator as well. The applicator of this one is more of like a triangular shape which I find glides around the curves of your lips really nicely. This one I just find I always get a clean application with it. It's super easy to apply. It's definitely not the most long-lasting liquid lipstick I have, but it does stay on a very long time. I usually just have to touch up in the center of my mouth here after I've eaten or I've been drinking a lot. Also, something I find a little bit strange is I feel like the color doesn't look anything like how it does on my lips. <laughs> that could be totally because of my complexion, my skin tone, um, but like... It's like looks like a really light like springtime pink and then on my lips It's more of like a dark cranberry which it could totally once again just be because of me and my skin tone but Overall, I do like the Smashbox liquid lips. I definitely want to get more colors I'm also gonna swatch this along with the rest of the liquid lipsticks as well So you can see how the colors look on my skin. Here's a swatch of the Smashbox always on liquid lipstick in dream huge so the next liquid lipstick I have here to show you is from Kat Von D and this is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita 2. This is the only color I have. I love the packaging of the Kat Von D ones. Um, I think they're really, really pretty and I like how they're like a long and skinny tube. This color isn't exactly my favorite everyday go-to color. I'm more of like a pinky neutral and for me, because I'm so fair, this color shows up like really dark on me, like a, like a burnt orangey brown. It's a really pretty color. It's just not my go-to everyday color. As for the formula, this one lasts pretty long. I have other liquid lipsticks that last longer, um, but I also have other liquid lipsticks that last not even close to how long this one lasts. Um, so I definitely really like the formula of this one. It's also very easy to apply. The applicator just looks like this. Um, and it's small enough so you can definitely like get to all the in-between places of your lips, which is really nice. Sometimes when the applicator is too big, it's more messy, you can't be as precise with it. I'm sure a lot of you have tried out the Kat Von D ones. They're one of the more popular ones. I can definitely see why. They're really, really amazing, and I love the color selection. Another thing I'm realizing while I'm swatching is how smooth it is. That's something that I prefer over the Smashbox one, is that this one is more of a smooth, liquidy formula, whereas Smashbox is more of like a paint. This is the swatch of the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick by Kat Von D in Lolita 2. So the next liquid lipstick I have here to talk about is from Too Faced and this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. I have two colors of these ones. I have one in Queen Bee and then I also have one in Lady Balls. And these are my favorite liquid lipsticks I've tried. The formula is really great and they last all day. The applicator is the exact same pretty much as the Kat Von D applicator. It's too big, it's not too small, it's a really good size. It's flexible enough so you can really create the shape of your lips that you want. The reason why I love these ones is because they have a built-in plumping effect and it really smooths out the cracks of your lips. And instead of sinking into the cracks of your lips, it creates like a film over top and it makes your lips look so plump. I can't even describe it. My lips just look so full and plump and squishy <laughs> after I put these on. I, that's why I love them so much. They also last all day for me. I'll have to touch up like once throughout the day so I love them. I've heard mixed reviews on these ones. Some people really like them and some people don't. I think it just depends on like your idea of the perfect liquid lip and the way it applies on your lips personally. But for me, these are definitely my favorite by far. So here are the swatches of the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This one here is Queen Bee, and then this one here is Lady Balls. So the next liquid lipsticks I have ready to show you are from ColourPop. I have the Ultra Satins, and then I have a few of the Ultra Mattes as well. So first I'm going to talk about the Ultra Satin Lips. I prefer these over the Ultra Mattes. Um, I find that these glide on really smoothly and they make your lips look very full. However, with the formula of these, I find that they don't last all day. Um, my favorite color that I have is called Little Stitious and it's this one here. And I put it on and like a couple hours later, it's almost stained my lips a different color. This goes on as more of like a pinky beige, um, but it stains my lips almost like a purple color, which is very strange. However, I like the formula over the altar mattes. I find that they just glide on really nicely. For the price, which I believe is about $6, um, they're really, really great. They're not my favorite formula in the whole world, but they're also like 
one of the cheapest liquid lipsticks I have, so it makes them worth it to me. You can get a ton of different colors um, for a really good price. If you're looking to build your liquid lipstick collection, ColourPop is a great way to do that. Another thing that's kind of annoying is that the packaging like rubs off really easily, so obviously because it's a cheaper packaging, I don't expect it to be amazing. Like It looks really pretty, um, but like all the writing has rubbed off, so like I don't even know what it says anymore. So I have this one here, which is in First Base. I have this one here, which is in Molly. And then I have this one, which is Little Stitches. So moving on to the Ultra Mattes, I have these two here. One is in Scrooge, and then one is in Beeper. I know everyone really likes Beeper. It shows up super dark on me for some reason. I think it's just because I'm so pale. Um, it's a very popular color, though. So the reason why I don't like the Ultra Mattes is because, for me personally, it could totally be these two colors, or I apply too much. Like, it, it could be me. <laughs> I'm not blaming ColourPop. I just find that they don't dry down. I had a really bad experience with this one. I applied it, and then I went for dinner, and it was everywhere like all over my face like all over my teeth and like I'm not a messy eater it just never dried down also when I was unboxing these like, I'd open one of them to swatch and it just like dripped onto the carpet so it's a very runny formula I don't know a lot of people really like these and I want to love them but I don't see myself ordering any more of these ones definitely I'll order more of the satin lips but not the Ultra Mattes. They're just not my favorite formula, unfortunately. But if you want to try them, they're only like around $6. So it's definitely worth it to try it out to see if you like it. So now I'll swatch all these ColourPop liquid lips for you. So first starting with the Ultra Satin liquid lipsticks by ColourPop, we have First Base here, Molly in the middle, and Little Stitches on the bottom. Now for the ColourPop Ultra Matte liquid lipsticks, we have Beeper at the top and Scrooge below it. Okay, so moving on to the next liquid lipsticks I have here. These ones are from Sephora Collection, and I've definitely collected quite a few of these. I think I'm going to do a whole separate video on these Sephora Collection ones because I really want to talk about them more in depth and do like a lip swatch review. So if you want to see that, give this video a thumbs up and I'll definitely do that for sure. I'll just talk a little bit about these ones. These ones are great because they're affordable because they're Sephora Collection. They're not as expensive as say the Kat Von D or the Too Faced or the Smashbox. And they come in a huge selection of colors. You don't get as much product as some of the other liquid lipsticks on the market. Um, it's smaller, but it is more affordable. And once again, the applicator is similar to the Kat Von D or the Too Faced. Now I love these liquid lipsticks so much because they're so thin and they feel so lightweight on your lips. You don't feel like you're wearing this big thick layer of lipstick, which you do with a lot of liquid lipsticks unfortunately. They just feel very heavy, but these feel like light as air. They're really nice. And there's so many different colors you can find a shade that works for you. I've got five of them here to show you and I've swatched them on the back of my hand so you can see. So here are the swatches of the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stains. Starting from the top going down to the bottom, we have 07, 38, 02, 13, and 29. So I've got two more liquid lipsticks to show you and both are from the drugstore. The first one I have here is from Hard Candy and this is the Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color and mine is in the color Sweet Pea. The packaging on this one is very unique. It's like flat. <laughs> um, it feels weird when you're unscrewing it. The applicator is pretty unique as well. It's very long. It's not my favorite um, just because it's, I feel like it's not as precise as some of the other ones. Now this formula isn't the best. I mean it is cheaper. It's hard candy so it's like a drugstore brand. But the formula is a little thick and I find it's a little bit streaky as well. It doesn't last all day and it flakes off a little bit but I mean for the price and if you can find a color you like it's worth trying out. Personally I just prefer formulas that are a little bit more liquidy um, rather than thick and paint like so this one for me isn't my favorite. I would prefer if it was just a little bit more like watered down, I guess you could say. I really do like the color and I got a lot of use out of it. Here is the swatch of the Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color in Sweet Pea. Okay, so the last liquid lipstick I have here to show you is from NYX. And unfortunately, this is my least favorite liquid lipstick I have. <laughs> I love NYX as a brand. I have a lot of stuff from them. I love them. I think they're great. They're a drugstore brand, but the quality of their products are really, really amazing. And I know a lot of people actually really do love this liquid lipstick. I just personally don't. This is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick, and I have the color in number 11, Baby Doll. The packaging of this is actually really nice. It's like sturdy, it's heavy, and the writing like hasn't rubbed off at all. It's really nice. The applicator, unfortunately, is like the hard candy one. It's super long and I feel like it's just not precise enough. And the formula of this is super, super thick. It's definitely comparable to the hard candy one. First time I applied it, it was super streaky and it just like sunk into every crack in my lip ever. Like, I didn't know I had so many lines and wrinkles in my lips until I applied this on it. 
it was crazy it just made me look like I hadn't had water in 12 million years it's really unfortunate because the color is pretty it's like a baby pink nude and I want to love it so much because a lot of people really do love them but it didn't work for me I don't know why I even tried it with chapstick beforehand and that didn't really seem to help either for this one specifically I would try going to the store and swatching it on your hand if you can first to see if you're gonna like the formula because NYX is affordable but they're not cheap so I wouldn't like test your luck and buy a bunch of colors and then have them come and you hate them <laughs> um, I would definitely go and try it out first if you can even just applying it here on my hand like for the swatch I find that it's just streaky and it just shows up in some places more than it does other places and it's like opaque and transparent I just I don't really like it here's a swatch of the NYX lingerie liquid lipstick in number 11 baby doll so yeah guys, that's it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my collection of all my liquid lipsticks. Let me know down below what your favorite liquid lipstick is and what your least favorite one is. I'm curious to hear what your opinions are compared to my opinions. Also, if you have any video requests or video ideas that you want to see from me, comment those down below as well because I'll definitely do those for you. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, you can do that down below. Also, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!